Hi everyone, it's me, Samuel, extremely happy and proud of his friends Risley. You may recognize me from Thought Sauna, that podcast you're about to listen to. I'd like to preface this episode with a special shout out and congratulations to one of my roommates and one of my all-around best friends who's kind of helped me get through pre- a lot of stuff in the past couple of years. Uh, and his name is Chris, and him and his girlfriend Melissa just got engaged over the past weekend, and I could not be happier and more proud of them, and I just wanted to congratulate them. We from Thought Sauna wanted to congratulate them on this cool step forward. Uh, Chris, I'm really happy for you, and Melissa, I'm really happy for you too. You guys are some of my best friends, and... Thank you so much for the past couple of years, and I look forward to many more, and it's about time, honestly. We've been waiting, and now we're finally, it's finally here. Congrats, you guys. Welcome to Thought Sauna. This is a podcast where we talk about weird dreams, odd laws, and interesting thoughts. I'm Brett, a 2006 iPod Hanrahan. <laughs> <laughs> That's still cool, right? It's topical? Yeah. yeah cool? Yeah. All right. Awesome. I'm Sam, Captain Goat Beard the Marvelous Risley. I'm sorry? Captain... Cap... This... What? <laughs> I'm sorry? Cap... Captain Goatbeard. That's my pirate name because that's right. Sea of Thieves came out uh, and I've okay. been playing oh, that. That makes right. a, that makes sense. That I've makes been a lot of sense. Playing that nonstop. <laughs> you've been you 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 doing all those piratey tactics. Sam, have have those have those things you've learned in the game applied to you in real life yet? Well, um Let me say, Brett. I've learned not to trust people. Oh. <laughs> well, as a pirate, you really can't. So, let me tell you the story about what happened to me today. Actually, two things happened to me in the game today. The first one happened, I was swimming to shore at from my boat to turn in a chest, and a man was trying to snipe me. So I turned around, and I shot him with my pistol, and that killed him. And so I went and I turned in my chest, and he and then he respawned and came to the, the came to the building I was in. Is like, hey, you want to join my crew? <laughs> and I was like, no, you were just shooting at me. I did not want to join your crew. That was a test. That was like a rite of passage. Yeah, initiation. Yeah. <laughs> can if this person can beat me in a firefight, then that's yeah, that's the only way they could take the blood oath and join the crew. <laughs> But so the second one was I uh, I was pulling into port. I had like five or six rare chests and then like four or five like rare bounty skulls that I was going to turn in for money. I get all the chests turned in and as I'm swimming back to start turning in the skulls, I see a person swimming towards my ship. Now on my ship, inclu- on that skull, there's also one chicken. Uh, okay, I'm glad to... I'm- can't wait to see how that pertains to the story. And so I watch this person board my ship and I sneakily climb on board to like block their exit. And I see them pick up the chicken. The the chicken probably sells for like the least out of all the things I had there and they pick up the chicken. And I go ahead and kill him because yeah. no one takes my chicken and then his buddy snipes me from behind. <laughs> <laughs> because nobody takes before? my chicken nobody <laughs> takes my chicken and his oh. buddy sniped me from behind and then they stole the chicken and all my skulls what game was this sea of thieves yeah thoughts on us this episode sponsored by sea of thieves actually for the nintendo switch go check it out only one uh, of us has no, a switch no, no 
and it's not me or Cyan. It's the other one. And so all these Sea of Thieves, uh, like, gameplay references have been great for us. Yeah. Uh, I do understand. on Xbox and PC, not Switch. I understand your plight. It's for the Switch, Sam. Only the Switch. (sighs) Yeah. Only the Switch. (laughs) Anyway, wasn't, Sam, wasn't there a third person that was in this podcast? Do you remember who that was? Me? (laughs) No, well, no, there's me, and then there's you, and then there's, like, a third there's a third me. Oh. Oh, no. It's a, it's a clone. A third you? So there's already two of you somewhere. There's another yeah. one of you somewhere <laughs> on the podcast that we just haven't found yet. <laughs> if you look if you look closely at our at our episodes in audio like in the audio wave format. Mhm. As like what is this episode 11 or 12 now? Something like that. But if you combine the first 10 episodes of our podcast and, like, line up the audio tracks, you, you know, line them just up. Just right. Just yeah. right. They make a picture of another me. And that's that's the second Sam. All right. And the third one. <laughs> Infamous <laughs> second Sam. And what about the third Sam? Sam? Uh, the The third Sam is here talking right now where's the first sam then he's also talking right here right now what i don't all right i've lost i don't like lost this we are i don't i don't like the thought sauna lore that we're creating where there's three sams and there's like a backstory to each sam (laughs) except the first and the third one are the same yeah i guess so there i guess there's really no point in it why don't you introduce yourself oh yeah we need to move on ladies (laughs) ladies and gentlemen Welcome to the show, world-renowned Doug critic, Cyan Haskins. That's me. Hi. Uh, I'm a special guest on the show this episode. I've never been here before. I did ask you to introduce yourself, so thank you for doing that. I didn't want to have to do it. You're welcome. Uh, but what do you think about Doug? Um, Doug? The, uh, by, by the way, I should clarify that we are talking about Doug, the TV show that uh, aired on Nickelodeon and later Disney, um, the cartoon. Uh, Doug, not funny. Not funny, huh? Not funny. What, was not a funny show. Doug's not, f- but his last name's funny. That's ironic, isn't it? Wow, that's crazy. You'll you'll just you're just gonna hear that kind of stuff on this quality podcast, you know. And we're gonna go to our first subject because we are six minutes in. This has nothing to do with Doug, unfortunately. But I want to give you all my law. And when I say this. I don't want it to get sexual because there are like, there are slight hints at like, okay, if you like make a reach, this could get sexual, right? Yeah. I don't want to go there. And we're going to make an effort this episode to not do that. Yeah. Because this, this show from now on will no longer be horny. Yeah. I I know that it's been very Uh... intimate and we've all been masturbating for for the past, for the past like few episodes. Mm -hmm. Um, but this one, I, I, want, I want to start like a new slate. I want this show to be uh, family friendly. And here's the thing. It's not inherently sexual, but I know that if we went into it with a sexual mind, then it would get sexual. Yeah. But luckily we've been cleansed. We all went and saw the the no more sex man. We saw Sing. We wa- we went and saw Sing in theaters. Uh, yep, it's still in theaters. 2018. That'll cleanse the palate. Yep. This comes be, from- Be excited for Sing- three where's the se- all right wait if you find all the audio <laughs> forms in the first and third movies that's when you find the second yep. uh this one comes and then from if texas. you overlap all three God, movie no this one comes from texas <laughs> Ooh, the homeland if, if you over if you overlap all three of the audio tra- tracks from all three sing movies they create a fourth and final sam uh, a sam up to a felony charge <laughs> can be levied for promoting the use of or owning more than six dildos. I know this one. Yeah? Yeah. I know this law. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've known about this one for a while. Yeah, yeah. You were the one who told me, Sam. It was like in high school. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I remember because I was bored in band class, and so I was like reading weird laws, and I just found that one. And I remember being like, I'll never get to own any dildos. And now, no, and now I'm an adult with the money. And you, you're you're just your successful Doug criti- criticizer. Yep. 
And my now you've got is, the kind of money. My question is, okay, why six and why a felony charge? That's, I mean, that's what I want to get to the bottom of today. Again, it's not sexual. Okay. I can only think of one reason why it would be illegal, why it would be a felony charge. That's because they're dangerous. Oh, someone who, someone weaponized dildos. Yes. Okay, man. Listen. Yeah. The, the weaponized dildos is far more like plausible than you think, because like those things are solid. Well, usually pla- or plastic or rubber or whatever you have the dildo made out rubber? of. Rubber? It. Well, well, I mean, it they depends. can be plastic or you can get glass silicone. Ones too. Yeah, Gla- silicone. Glass, yeah. But the one they make glass rubber. Oh no, like a tire. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a good point. I wasn't thinking about what kind of material rubber was, but. Uh, <laughs> 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 I totally just like, would be the most forgot dangerous. what rubber was for a second. <laughs> Yo, what? welcome to my new dildo shop where I make all my dildos exclusively out of recycled tires. Hi, I'm Brett. I'm the rival. I make okay. mine out of wood. <laughs> That's probably a thing. I make you, want, you... you want some traditional, homegrown, in your backyard, wood dildos. Natural. Brett, Brett okay? I'm going to stop you right there. Those are likely a thing because you can just coat wood with like lacquer or something and it becomes extremely smooth. I, I make mine them. out of cobblestone. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I just find pebbles. Here, here we are, guys. This is our Minecraft Let's Play of how to make dildos Dang in it, Minecraft Sam, out of cobblestone. I was going to go diamonds and then Minecraft, but you beat me to it. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, Cyan, I just have to say, the one out of recycled tires absolutely would catch on in the U.S. Like, it's such an out there topic. Like... Right now we recycled have recycled really... tires, like tires that have rolled around on the road. That's like <laughs> you and that's asking you would... for a disease. Yeah, it's absolutely asking for a disease. But like we've got all those like weird, like uh qu- quirky food places and such. Like the fucking, Yeah, it uh... would it would be like BuzzFeed's top ten homemade dildos, and it's like this one was yeah. made out of my bike tire, and everyone's like, That's so quirky, and they all do it. Exactly. Like, Mom, exactly. can I have my bike from when I was a kid? And then they like tear the tire off. On Pinterest exactly. and stuff, like yeah. for weddings. Like you just get this these like This one's you know, made from the rubber dildo. of my first car. DIY light bulb dildos. Mm-hmm. Oh, and you know how no. you can't take if you put a light bulb in your mouth, you can't take it out without shattering it, right? Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's light a happy bulb tree dildos. friends episode and I hate it. Light bulb dildos. What let's talk about that. No, I really don't. You put well, it in, you can't take it out. Are you not satisfied with glow in the dark dildos? Yeah, for real. Cause no, do exist. are you not like? Honestly, I I want to get like glow in the dark condoms, and then I can just wave my dick around like it's a lightsaber. <laughs> well, it went see, really see, that's that's where this law starts. All right, first <laughs> you're like, all right, I want a condom glow in the dark lightsaber. Like, what if I could have? Like two more, co- like dildos in my hands. That's more lightsabers. And then you get seven of them. And then you're breaking the law, and it's a felony. Wait, because you're no, beating have, people I have in the an street. Idea, Brett, and it it builds off of yours. The reason right. they prohibited more than six dildos is because you get six dildo, like six glow in the dark dildos. You use mm. them as lightsabers. But the thing is, you have to have, like, in a lightsaber fight three people maximum because more than any more than three people and you're just not gonna ha- it's just gonna be a mess it's, but three it's... people is like the maximum amount you can have for a lightsaber fight so six dildos means two dildos per person for the lightsaber fight i have something for y'all yeah. y'all know in like japan the like umbrellas that you can like like there it's an umbrella but like if there's you pull a sword, on it, there's in, a sword it. in it yeah a dildo but you grab the balls and you pull an knife. umbrella out. There's a knife. <laughs> no. Oh, no. That seems oh. like, I mean, if it's made out of anything other than like plastic or something, that's dangerous. No, I carry my dildo on me in my purse wherever I go. And if somebody's like, give me your money, then I pull out my dildo and they're like, Kuh, what are you going to do with a dildo? And then I grab the balls and I pull out a knife and then I fucking, and they're like, I shake Nani? them. Yeah, I pull out a shiv and they're like, Gah. and I shank them and they're like, Yamura. 
None this Okay, guy. but my thing is, no, again, I have to go back to, the dildo would have to be made of, like, a hard plastic. It couldn't be, like, floppy or soft, because then the knife would just cut through it, and that'd be dangerous to use in the purpose that a dildo was intended for. Well, no, Weaponry. there's, like, it's like a leather sheath surrounded by the silicone dildo. Like, it's all okay. It's all safe. Be sure to buy okay. them. This episode of Spots on It is sponsored by the Adult Video Megaplex. Go get your knife dildos. Yeah, they're out there for sure. Also, we have wait, we we have a weapons section where you know you get a knife and you can pull out a dildo if you're just feeling frisky. You know, I would like. All right, guys. Now we've we've got the product. Now we have to have a commercial for it that would fit in the Megaplex because we all remember that butt commercial. The butt commercial. Right. We. I think we should make it an anime, like an animated commercial. <laughs> we have to have something on par with the butt commercial. No, I think it should be like a 90s commercial. Mm. Like, like, no, a, right. like a Nickelodeon gack or like a, a commercial where we get to have backwards hats and skateboards. Like a moon shoes commercial. Knife dildo. Yes. Mm -hmm. Knife Can dildo. we also have call moon it nildo. shoes? Nildo. I don't like nildo. I don't, that Dive. doesn't... No, Dive. no, <laughs> di, da, tz, doored, doored. What about doored? Is a funky doored flesh doored? flare. <laughs> funky the, flesh flare. The funky flesh flare is another product entirely, Sam, and you know it. <laughs> That's if you're on a sexual cruise and y'all get stranded on an island and a boat happens to pass by. That's when you use the funky uh, whatever flair. Right. I'm coming up with names for our entire for our entire line. We're going to build a company. Uh, follow us on Twitter at the dil we, we make things out of dildos dot com. The Dive Company. That's our Twitter handle. Yeah. It's at we make things out of dildos dot com. <laughs> Why don't we, we make move things on? into dildos? Sa Sam, you said you had a dream. I did have a dream. And what is it? Frankly, it's perfect from both my point of view and everything. It, everything so, about it is. So was it your dream? Like you had it? No, I found uh. it on Reddit. It was from two years ago on Reddit. And but it, it, it just resonated with me right now. All right. And uh, I had a dream. That I was a pirate on a ship engaged in a bloody battle with another pirate ship that was trying to steal our treasure. Except we were funky musical pirates, and our treasure was the essence of our funk. <laughs> <laughs> the is this like the, the lost Austin Powers movie or something? <laughs> <laughs> the pirate Austin? I would love yeah. to see an Austin Powers this, pirate movie. This, oh this is the best part. This the bad pirates kept shouting, we want the funk, and give up the funk as they attacked us. No. We want the funk. <laughs> I'll never give you the funk. <laughs> <laughs> the funk doesn't belong to you. You have to earn the, the funk. The funk can't the be in the wrong hands. <laughs> <laughs> the true funk was the friends we made along the way. <laughs> so did you look up pirate dreams because you were just like, man, I like pirates right now, or like... <laughs> I... Okay, here's the thing. I always, I have always loved pirates. But, so like, lame. another thing about it is, like, history's got pirates all wrong. Or, not, hi not history, but, like, movies have got pirates all wrong. Well, yeah, pirates are, like, a thing. But, but this like, is the well, third pirate, like, story <laughs> that I've heard in the past 17 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and that's more pirate stories than I've heard in my life, but, I think. No, so I have I have a friend. His name is Dimpsey. Oh and yeah. He is a, yeah. He's a uh, his he's a history major. So like that's his thing. Mm -hmm. And I was talking to him, and he goes, you know, it hist uh, history textbooks have pirates all wrong because they were actually extremely chivalrous. And like they were all they were, no like actual pirates were often very like cordial with one another like they recognized each other's like status i guess 
Okay. And pirates were also a hell of a lot gayer than the textbooks say. <laughs> well, like, yeah, it's just a bunch of dudes on a ship together. Well, there were there were women pirates. <clears throat> were there? No, it's just and a like, bunch of dudes on a ship together, and they're well, no, like, they're man, were... I, I, my, 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 my sword, it's a, it's a, it's a dildo. We we gotta we gotta use it. And that's how sword dildos were created. This episode of Thought Sauna is dedicated to our friends Chris and Melissa on their engagement. This entire episode, it's for y'all. We thought about you during the whole thing. We were thinking about you 100% of the way. Congratulations. From us at the Thought Sauna. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Sign Haskins but, with sword dildos. This was all a commercial from earlier. No, Could you like, imagine, like, no, in our commercial no, no. For, for sword dildos, and we're like... Our sword dildos were founded by like you know how like be like the technology of my of my chair comes all the way back from the 1500s when pioneers like we do that but it's for yeah. pirates and they're like sword no but like pirates. I'm telling you there like there were two uh, really big uh, pirate captains that were women I can't remember their names and it's bugging me but like they they disguised themselves as men uh, for like obvious reasons of back yeah. in the day. But then whenever they killed, like, a Navy man or something, they would rip open their shirt and reveal to that Navy man that they were a woman and shame them as they died. Jesus Christ, they're savage. Yeah, and no, then, yeah, they were chivalrous, Sam. No, and then on top of that, those two really, those two women pirate captains, they actually met each other and fell in love. Oh my like, god. Hell yeah! Is there, I know! Oh, it's that, awesome! That made everything so much yeah. better. Is there like a book on this? Is there like a, a book I can read? Can Is I read about can lesbian pirates? Historical I'll, lesbian I'll try pirates? It. I'll... Is this what pyrology well, I mean, is the about? Pro- the problem is if you go to like a history <laughs> textbook, it's going to be like, they were real good well, friends. Yeah, yeah, I'd imagine. They like to kiss each other on the lips like friends do. They were best friends yeah. who slept in the same bed for their right. entire lives, and neither of them ever got married to a man. Weird. weird. I guess they just wanted to be single independent you know but i mean yeah pir- no pirates were like they were courteous to each other like they had their code the hmm. pirate code but i mean obviously like the navy hunted them and shit sure D- did any of them get like uh like gum gum powers or like hockey or any other like one piece things all right Did, Brett's getting into one piece territory and i well, haven't have gotten the, that far in this series. i'm saying have the textbooks like written out all the one piece lore that happened is that like Brett, as well did as you know that pirates? the entire like the entire time we covered pirates in my uh high school history classes we were actually just reading one piece yeah like all I history s- majors have to have like a class where they just read all of one piece i well, mean it's you'll, you'll so notice that i said big. high school and i all we, we all three of us went to the same high school We've 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 gone to, we've been in the same school since elementary school. Yeah, yeah. Every I mean, shit, every bro. every year, always One Piece. The yeah, textbooks always One Piece. Remember, uh, remember in uh elementary school, like we had like Marine Science Week or something. Yeah, and yeah. we just read One Piece the entire time. Yeah, yeah, we just read One Piece the entire time. And then they're like, we're going to watch a movie. And everyone was like, yeah, and we all gathered around the, on the floor next to like the tray that had the movie on it. And it's like one of the 17 One Piece movies. Yeah. Obviously. And then like, for so. some reason in fifth grade, they made us dissect a squid while reading One Piece. Yeah. And we like ate the squid. We ate the calamari. You guys yeah. ate the squid. I did not touch that shit. Dude, it was good. Calamari so good, Sam. No, no. Right. Dude, fried calamari is amazing. It's a, it's you great. don't understand. I can only do very specific seafood. Me too. <sighs> but also fried calamari. You don't think you don't think octopus? You don't think squid would be in that in that list, Sam? Of food you can eat. It no, I'm I cannot. There's so, like, okay, I was able to get past like eating, uh, I like sushi. I've actually started to enjoy that because it was like crab and <clears throat> really the only sushi I get is up here is called the mean green roll and it's like crab and avocado. Mm-hmm. And I know you can't really call that sushi, but I like it. I can't, I can't bring myself to eat fish like fish, fish. Me neither. 
Crab is fine. And then, but like something I just inherently cannot get past is like, I squid and octop octopi are really cool to me, but the instant you say something about putting them into your mouth, I'm gone. I am you... so far out of there. That's a shame. It's a crying shame, Sam, that you can't eat another living animal like I can. <laughs> <laughs> that you can't destroy an octopus. You're, you're the one that doesn't like donuts, taste. and that's far more bizarre. Okay, that's right. fucked up. All right, that's another. That's okay, that's a whole another podcast. Okay, we cannot get involved in that right now. We are so far. We, like, we're gonna over dedicate. Where we're, supposed to be. we're gonna dedicate an entire thought sauna episode to, to me to and Sam this. interviewing you about your hatred for donuts. You, you and Sam roasting me. For 30 minutes. No, because I want to explain and I want to prove you wrong. And we're going to bring what donuts. Do you mean, I don't like donuts. You, you can't prove me wrong <laughs> about gonna it. I'm going to prove you wrong about your hatred for donuts. I don't. All right. Funky pirates. The guy just wanted to be a funky pirate. Who doesn't? Like, that who why doesn't want to be a funky pirate? That's literally the plot of One Piece. That is the plot of One Piece. And also, you know, maybe this guy needs some more friends. You know, we want the funk. We want the funk. People are like, you know. He'd had trust issues. Okay. Like, we want to join your funk. funk band. We want to start a funk band with you. Yeah. And he just he didn't hear them right. And he was like, no. And they were like, but I'm really good at the trumpet. Yeah. I really check like my, check bass. This bass. Check this bass line, man. I've been playing bass for 14 years. Oh, my God. <laughs> Fucking, like, instead of cannons, they just have, like, bass guitars hooked up to, like, gigantic amplifiers and they launch their sound waves at the ships they're, like, they're just like all right oh. y'all y'all check this one out they like oh crap we destroyed this ship <laughs> whoops they base boost the ship to death <laughs> uh and then you know like a, a kraken comes up and like oh i love that beat the, the kraken because it ha is we're, we're assuming the kraken is a giant squid monster in this context yeah. Because it has so many arms, it just pulls up like a ton of percussion instruments and just starts, oh yeah, like, oh, seventeen fuck. bases laying down the funkiest beat. Oh my god, you couldn't even imagine. Brett, which episode of One Piece am I describing right now? <laughs> I believe that's a. I believe that's a chapter two hundred ninety four. That's the third uh, Skypia arc. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, All I right. wouldn't even be shocked if that happened though. If a, if a kraken in One Piece comes out and it plays probably like did. No, it, I would not be shocked if like there's a group of pirates in One Piece who literally they don't have any weapons or anything. They're just like weaponized musicians. Oh no, dude, that's Brooke. You remember? <laughs> you know, oh my god, that's it's such a sad arc. Dude, don't bring that up. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I, I, I'm honestly scared for when I meet Brooke because I know it's such a sad arc and like Ugh. I'm I'm just about to uh oh I don't I shouldn't say it because spoilers. No, it's fine. Wait, Me I'm... and our audience don't watch One Piece. <laughs> you don't know that. Yeah, I do. I know everyone who watches the show. <laughs> and I know that none of them watch One Piece. My friend Lucas. Yeah. My girlfriend Avery. I don't think my girlfriend listens to it. So that we know two of the two people that watch this podcast. Yeah. <laughs> and she was on the podcast once. Yeah. Oh, rough. That's rough. <laughs> did she even watch her episode? Don't think she did. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's move on to the thought. All right. Please. So. 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 The, is the, is the it concept, pirate themed? It's not. Uh, the concept well, of don't even birth. read it then the concept oh, no. of birth is already like a pretty terrifying thing you know it's, 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 if you strip it down to like what it is it's a very scary thing to just not know about right like back at like early times you know yeah like oh there's now a person growing in me but you like you don't know that you're just like wow i'm hungry and sick and my stomach's getting big yeah and then you know, you pop out a small human and you're like, Nani? And then, like, that that goes on for a little bit. And it's like, that alone is freaky, you know? Just the concept of that. Uh -huh. Imagine the first person to have identical twins. <laughs> this person has two children at the same time. 
Well, they only expected one because that's all they knew. And these kids start growing up and the parents are like, wow, they look exactly the same. That... I'm... How weird would that be to have been the first parents <clears throat> to have identical twins? I'm going to have to say that uh, I'm pretty sure there his- there's historical records of identical twins being considered bad luck and you've been like cursed by like witches or something. And so oftentimes they like, like a lot of it, it would be like, or maybe changelings or something. And so they would take one of the kids and perform a test. And if that one of those kids, if whichever one of those kids failed those tests, they would usually be killed. Was it, was it like the kind of test where like, we're going to drown you in this water. And if you die, you weren't a witch. And if you don't die, then you are a witch and we're going to kill you. Is it, is it that kind of thing? A, uh, one thing, I don't know specifics about it, obviously, but, like, one, I, I know that one test to see if, like, someone was a changeling was to hold them over a fire, and if they, like, become uncomfortable by that, they're a changeling. What, uh... Uh, so, I thought that, like we were all going to like take roles and create this funny story about like what would happen with the parents and the kids and it would be wacky. Uh, and then you just told me all that. Sorry. So, Sorry. um, see y'all well, next no. week. <laughs> no, 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 come on. <laughs> I was expecting like, Oh, that must've been fucking weird. And then we all have like a fun conversation. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, that's not how we roll on this podcast. See, this is why I'm good to have on like a trivia team, but man, put me in a college class and I know fucking nothing. <laughs> well, you watch too many episodes of lore, Sam. That's I what do you watch do. a lot of lore, but how, how? I, I can't help it. I love myths and shit. How is it that being comfortable being held above a fire makes you a human and normal? How is that? I guess because, like, as a baby, you're not supposed to recognize that fire is dangerous. And so you just kind of, like, see pretty colors and are like, ooh. So if you freak the fuck out. Well, it's Which, sure hot. You know, a baby, yeah, a baby would do in intense heat. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, all right. I so. mean, there were there there were other tests to see if there were changelings, but I can't remember them. Well, let's just say, for the for the mythos of this hypothetical, both the babies passed the test. They're both humans. They both just happen to be the same people. Uh, these people are. I mean, it's got to be rough. Well, first you got to roll a 20 to make sure that that happens. That oh, yeah. Kids, yeah. At that investigation check. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, no, I think, I think, I, I like, I think uh, that's an act under check, act under pressure. Act under pressure. Um, for the babies. That's a monster of the week rather than D&D re- reference. <clears throat> Even more topical and widely known. Thanks, Sam. The, b- both the babies are fine. They're both fine. Okay, they go back to their families. They're fine. It's got to be messed up. Sam had nothing. Sam did not interact with these children at all. <laughs> Sam never existed in this in this universe like he did in ours. Yeah. So little, the mom has little. a baby, and they're like, "Okay, I'm done. We all only have one baby." And then she's still like, "Well, wait a second. There's something else in." And she pops a second one out. Yeah. And then they grow up and look exactly the same. That's, that's gotta be. But also that just made me think as well. Fucking imagine being like, okay, that was weird. And then one day you pop out three and you're like, what? How many, how many ye oldie parent trap situations do you think happen? (laughs) (laughs) Ye old parent trap. Right? Like, yeah, like the, the starring you, Lindsay Lohan. The parents were Star, uh, starring you know, Lindsay Lohan. Ye old Lindsay Lohan. Yeah, it's it's no, just it's Lindsay, Lohan. Lindsay Lohan. You gotta Lohan. say it with the Gaelic accent. Lohan. I don't know if that's actually what Gaelic sounds like. Both the both the parents divorced. Um, at, when when well, the babies were born. Is, uh, divorce couldn't divorce. happen, really. I yeah, guess. No. Uh, they l- really liked to live in separate houses, <laughs> but they were still married. 
And so, you know, they each took it. They each took one. Who cares? So what? So then both the uh, Lindsay. What were their names in the parent trap? Lindsay Lohan. They were both Lindsay Lohan. Yep, that's the, the that's trap. the names of the characters. They are both child Lindsay Lohan. Ye old Lindsay Lohan and ye old Lindsay Lohan both went to the same uh, monster killing summer camp, uh, as all as all people do in this in the thriving village of Thrall. <laughs> right. Yeah. Huh. And at first they hate each other, but then where, they learn. Where does uh, where does Frankie Muniz from or where does ye old Frankie Muniz from Malcolm in the Middle come in in this? From ye old Malcolm in the old middle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wasn't there like didn't Lindsay Lohan have No, I'm thinking of Lizzie McGuire. Yeah. Well are you? What? Is, well, there is was Frankie like, Muniz like, and Lizzie there was, McGuire? There was secret agent Cody Banks. Yeah. Yeah, that's actually Tisdale, right? Oh. Lizzie McGuire? Is it? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, man. All I know about Lizzie McGuire, ye old Lizzie McGuire, is she would like just keep doing cave carvings, right? Yeah. And like, I don't it, know it'd be, what like, her era of humanity we are in right now. <laughs> also, don't know what country we're in right now. Like, what village were you talking about? Are we in Sweden? Like, what? What's the happening? Fictional, the fictional island of Lohandia. Yeah, yeah. Because everyone knows that twins didn't exist before uh you know 1960 parent before the parent trap. before 1990s yeah. parent trap <laughs> yeah when did that movie come out was it the first one like, came out in like 1970 there were or something, there was right? more than one yeah the the one we know today is, is a, remake. a remake when did that one come out that's the only one that matters 1993 or something or something i don't know wait the one with Lindsay lohan was a remake yeah. yes are you clipping your fingernails right now what are you doing no i'm messing with a wi-fi are you stapling <laughs> yeah, stapling no, papers I'm messing, I'm messing with a wi-fi uh router thing that i plug into my computer and i don't know why it squeaks and my my uh my hand you know you know my hands just constantly have to be like messing with shit so i mean yeah brett I'm and i have been way. like fingering our headphone wires this entire time been... i was so scared where you were gonna go with that like... Brett and i have been fingering each other this entire time just a reminder that this episode of thought sauna is all about chris and melissa's engagement we're thinking of you during all the conversations Yeehaw! just out of boredom it's not I mean, sexual knowing you guys, again you would say something like that I don't want any sexuality in this episode, but we have been fingering each other. See, I was scared when you said, I thought you might say something like that, because I thought you were going to say, I thought you might do something like that. And I didn't yeah. want you to have the image of Brett Knights being like, this is right. a thing that we just do. <laughs> right. Brett, this is, <laughs> Brett, this is a, this is a, this is a non-sexual fingering. It's platonic fingering. It's, it's just bro fingering. <laughs> we're just two bros. All right. Even Brothering. if one of us is, is a chick, this is my bro finger. <laughs> this is this is my uh, this is the fingernail I use for like bro cane. <laughs> my bro cranum. <laughs> bro cranum. <laughs> uh. All right. So the the yield Lindsay Lohan's are our pirates. Uh. And, and then they lay siege to the castle, and identical it's... twins become the norm. Yeah. Usually when an episode goes past 30 minutes, it's because it's really good. And I think this is one of those episodes. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were like, okay, none of us have anything good. Let's make the intro really long. <laughs> well, y'all think that's enough? You think we're good? Well, I don't know where you were going uh, with your yeah. With I don't know what island you were talking about. I didn't. I didn't know either. I I just knew like it's the end of the episode, so I'm gonna combine all the things we did, and then it nothing happened because of it. So there we go. See you all next week. <laughs> you can find us. Yeah. You can find us on Facebook and YouTube under Thought Sauna. We'll take your suggestions. We'll take your dreams. We'll take your laws. We'll take your thoughts, and we'll gladly accept them. Put them in the episode. Please send them our way. Please, for the love of God, please, for the love stuff. of God, send them our way. Yeah. 
We'll uh, and we'll be sure to include a link to our Discord server for if you want to interact and talk with us personally. If you just want to be our friend, First, you yeah, want to be a pal. You just want, if you just want to bro out. We're so lonely. We just y'all. Let's just be bros and like finger each other over the internet, but like in a bro way. Let's I just, don't like how many times you're saying this because I feel like we're going to Sam, get stuck make a, with this image. Sam, please make a voice channel and a text channel, but I, I want both forms of media for uh bro fingering i don't want us to be associated with that i do just, just bros doing things with bros shaking hands like high-fiving kissing a little finger like you know like it's fine it's fine okay now you're describing the greeks yeah exactly <laughs> they've, they've been doing it for for centuries let's go back to ye old times in the greeks just like it, like the way it used to be. Hi, mom. I know you're. This is the episode you came back to. <laughs> <laughs> I know this is the episode that you were like. You know what? I'll give him another chance. I'm sorry about that. The worst part is it's okay. My mom just found out about the, our show no! today as well. Oh. She hasn't listened to it, but she did see that we started one. God mm. damn it. <laughs> and now is where I contemplate. And now I'm like, oh no. Mom, don't listen to my sex jokes. This is now when we decide to cancel the show. A little behind the curtain. <laughs> if if this episode is 30 minutes long, it's because we took out the fingering thing. And if it's 40, it's because uh, we, no, we got to give it, up. We got to leave it in because it ties into Lin Lindsay Lohania. No, it not really. It doesn't. Well, we have to leave it in because it ties into my closer this week, uh, uh, which, as always, is make sure to come join me and my sweaty, moist boys in the Thought Sauna. Uh, also bring an extra towel next time you come because there will be a lot of bro fingering happening in the sauna from here on out. So bring a couple extra towels. We'll have a few. We'll have snacks. Come on. It doesn't need to be gay. No homo. It doesn't need to be weird. Girls are invited. Girls, Girls are invited too. Girls can be bros. We can all bro out together. Let's eat some blazed Doritos. Let's eat some blazed Doritos I and finger like each other in soggy. the thought sauna. What the... What Doritos get soggy in a sauna? Soggy Doritos and soggy fingering in the sonky sauna. Ugh, okay, that's it. The episode's over. Oh, Goodbye, yeah, everyone. We're done. we're done. Cut it. We can't talk about fingering anymore from here on.